okay hello everyone in a new video in this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of dc voltage and resistor this exercise was a previous one in the previous exams in 2007 first session second exercise the title of this exercise is study of an electric circuit during a laboratory session we construct the circuit represented in the adjacent figure uh -huh. they mentioned the figure so now we can use it uh, G is a generator that maintains across its terminals a constant voltage UPN is equal to 12 volts. So the trick in solving such type of exercises is to write the voltage and the electric current on the given electric circuit. So here we have that the voltage of the battery is given by 12 volts. A is an ammeter of negligible resistance, so this is important. R1 is a resistor of resistance R1, R1 is equal to 30 ohms. And R2 is a resistance of resistance R2. Then the resistor R, the resistance R2 of the resistor R2 is an unknown. And K is a switch. When we close K, the ammeter A indicates 0 0.6 ammeter, uh, amperes. Okay. So here, the electric current delivered by the battery or the main current is denoted by I, which is the current traversing in the main branch. So this is also a main branch. So this is the electric current I. This is also a main branch. So this is the electric cu current I. Now notice that at the point B, the, the main electric current I splits into two currents given by I1 and I2. This is a sub-branch and this is a sub-branch. Now at the point C, the electric currents I1 and I2 join back therefore uh, because this is also a main branch so the current traversing this terminal is given by the electric current i now here they are telling me that the ammeter a indicates 0 0.6 amperes here we have three electric currents and they are given by i i1 and i2 so which electric current does the ammeter uh, reads Notice that the electric current passing through the ammeter is I, therefore the value of I in this case is given by 0 0.6 amperes. So this is also 0 0.6 amperes. Now number one, uh, determination of the value of UBC, which is the voltage across the resistors R1 and R2, part A. They are telling me in part A that the voltage across A is zero, and uh, this is because the ammeter is of negligible resistance. So let's say the voltage across the ammeter is zero. Because it is of negligible. resistance and the voltage the name of the voltage across the ammeter is given by UPB then in this case UPB is equal to zero now in part B they are telling me the voltage across K is zero knowing that K is a closed switch so a closed switch acts as a connecting wire then the voltage across the closed because as a connecting now uh, okay, so what's the name of the voltage uh, across the closed switch? Uh, it's given by UCN. So in this case, UCN is equal to zero. Now, because they asked me about the voltages across certain branches uh, of the electric circuit, now we expect that uh, they will ask me about the law of addition of voltages. Now, indeed, they are telling me the voltage UBC is equal to 12 volt. Justify this can be justified using the law of addition of voltages. Uh, in physics, always we need to mention the, the law that we are using. And let's say apply 
לא. of additional voltages now how do you apply this law always on the left we write the voltage of the battery which is given by UPN and on the right we write the voltages across different electric components starting from the point P and ending with the point N so we will go from P to the point B plus from B to the point C and from C back to the point N and in this case, you are interested in determining the value of the voltage UBC. So we keep UBC as a variable. Now the value of UPN is equal to 12 and this is given. UPB is equal to 0 justified. UBC plus 0. So this is a linear equation in one unknown. The unknown is given by UBC. Therefore, UBC is equal to 12 volts because UPN is in volts. So I repeat always the trick in solving such type of exercises to write the voltage on the electric circuit. So in this case, the voltage UBC is equal to 12 volts. Now in number two, they are telling me determination, the value of R2. Let me make some space here. So in part A, they are telling me determine the value of the current I1 through R1. Okay, we need to determine the value of the current I1 through R1. So we need to determine I1. Uh, here we cannot use the law of addition of currents because yet we don't know the value of I2. However, because we know that the applied voltage across R1 is given by 12 volt, uh, voltage, volts, which is UBC, and already the value of R1 is given, therefore we can apply Ohm's law to R1 in order to determine the value of I1. Then let's say apply Ohm's law to R1. I repeat, always in physics we need to mention the law that we are using. And the law is given by that U is equal to R multiplied by I. Now constructing the triangle of this formula. Because we have multiply on the right, then U will be at the top. And R and I at the bottom. We are interested in calculating the value of I, so putting our hand over I. I, which is united by I1, the current traversing the resistor R1, is equal to the applied voltage UBC divided by R1. So the applied voltage in this case is given by 12 divided by 30. So this will give us 0 0.4, plugging this on the calculator. Because UBC is in volts and the SI and R1 is in the SI, so the value of I1 will be in the SI, which is given by amperes. Then in this case, I1 is equal to 0 0.4 amperes. Now in part D, part B, they are telling me to deduce the value of the current I through R2. And the word deduce means that we need to use the part just previously before, which is part A. In part A, we have determined the value of I1. And we already know the value of I. So we can determine the value of I2 using the law of addition of currents. Then let's write apply law of addition of currents. Okay, how do we apply this law? Always on the left, we write the main current derived by the dry cell, which is given by I. And on the right, we'll, uh, on the other side, we'll write uh, the sum of uh, different electric currents, and they are given by I1 plus I2. And this is reasonable because... Notice that... At the point B, the main electric current I splits into two currents and they are given by I1 and I2. We are interested in calculating the value of I2. So the value of I is given by 0 0.6, which is indicated by the ammeter. The value of I1 already calculated, which is 0 0.4 plus I2. Now the type of this equation is a linear equation and one unknown, which is given by I2. Then I2 is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4 which is equal to 0 
uh, because 0 0.4 is in amperes and 0 0.6 is in amperes so the value of i2 will be in amperes then the value of i2 is equal to 0 0.2 amperes Now in part C they are telling me show that the value of R2 is 60 ohms and we know that the value of the resistance can be calculated using ohms law then we need to apply ohms law to R2 knowing that the applied voltage in this case is given by UBC is equal to 12 volts and the traverse current across R2 is given by 0 0.2 amperes Then in part C apply ohms law to R2 And this law is given by that u is equal to r multiplied by i. Okay, constructing the triangle of this formula, you at the top r and i at the bottom. We are interested in calculating the value of r, putting our hand over r. This will give us that r is equal to u divided by i. The name of the resistance is given by r2. The applied voltage is given by ubc and the traverse current is given by i2. Uh, the value of the voltage UBC is given by 12, dividing by 0 0.2. Okay, uh, Plugging this uh, fraction on the calculator will give us 60. Since UBC is in SI and I2 is in the SI, then the value of R2 will be in the SI, which is given by ohms. Then the value of R2 in this case is given by 60. Ohms. Then this is it for part of this exercise. Now in part 3, they are telling me equivalent resistance and this title is important. And now the two resistors R1 and R2 can be replaced by a single resistor R of resistance R so that A indicates the same value I is equal to 0 0.6 amperes. Now here they are telling me that we are replacing the, the two resistors R1 and R2 by single resistance R and because the title of this uh, part is equivalent resistance then R is the equivalent resistance between R1 and R2 in which the ammeter A indicates the same value I is equal to 0 0.6 amperes. In part A they are telling me out of the following values 90 ohms, 50 ohms, 20 ohms which one matches the value of R? Y. In order to know which one of these matches the value of R, we need to calculate the value of R. In other words, we need to calculate uh, the value of the equivalent resistance R uh, corresponding for the two resistors R1 and R2. Then first, let's say that R1 and R2 are in parallel. Why they are in parallel? Because they have two terminals in common and they are given by B and C. Uh, always whenever we need to calculate the equivalent resistance, we need to mention whether they are in series on, or in parallel. So they give half a mark for this statement. Now, because they are in parallel, the equivalent resistance, which is denoted by R, is given by 1 over R is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now the value of R1 is given by 30 and the value of R2 is given by 60. Then now let's add uh, these two fractions. Then the common denominator of 30 and 60 is given by 60. So here let's multiply by 2. This will give us 2 over 60 plus 1 over 60 which is equal to 3 divided by 60 now this is a reducible fraction then dividing by 3 will give us 1 over 20 and uh, notice that here we didn't calculate the value of r yet we have calculated the value of 1 over r then 1 over r is equal to 1 over 20 and if we cross multiply then the value of R is given by 20 ohms. 
then the 20 ohms out of the following values matches the value of R. Now finally in part B they are telling me an instrument allows a direct measurement of R named this instrument. We know that the ohmmeter is an instrument that can directly measure the value of R. Then the name of this instrument is given by ohm meter. And by this we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one.